Hey guys, it's Jim Nix with NomadicPursuits.com. Thanks for tuning in today. I've just got a quick teaser video that I wanted to share about Luminar from MacFun. Today the pre-orders start and I think it's a great product. If you're already a MacFun customer, you can get it for $49, which I think is incredibly cheap. They've got some bonus offers too. You can read about that on my blog. But I wanted to share with you the uh, little teaser video to let you know what the product look like uh, looks like. So here we are in Luminar. I've got this photo I took on the beach in Oregon. Great sunset, but you can see the colors are kind of lost. There's no, uh, you know, no detail or no, uh, it's too dark in the foreground. And it's just, you know, kind of overall, you can tell that it was a pretty sunset, but it's kind of lost its, you know, pizzazz. How about that? So um, we're going to bring it back with Luminar real quick. Uh, but if you've used any MacFun products before, looking across the top, you'll see the menu looks probably pretty familiar. And down the right-hand side, you'll see a lot of tools. So, you know, that's how you open a file. That's your save, share, and export. Zoom in and zoom out or just 100%. That's your preview and before and after, which I can't share because I haven't done anything yet. Undo and redo. This is cool here. This little history button. So once you've made edits, you can click on it and you can snap back in time to previous versions. That's how you get to presets. That's how you get to the editing tools, also known as uh, filters. And then down the right hand side, you've got a lot of uh, awesome tools. You've got a brush, you've got a, a gradient mask, a radial mask, you've got a transform tool, clone and stamp, eraser, denoise, and crop. So a lot of stuff here. But if you look at the interface, super clean, super intuitive, I think, and easy to understand. So let me start with clicking here in the side panel. By doing that, you see I open up the filters area. I also have access to the histogram, which is there, and the layers palette, which is there. So if you wanted to add layers or you know review the histogram, you can just click on those icons. We're going to skip that right now. That's how you get into filters, but I'm going to close that again and show you presets, right? That's how you get into presets. That's a little preset icon. You can see there's quite a few categories, basic, outdoor, travel, street, portrait, and dramatic. And each one of these has a number of filters built in. So I'll click on basic. And just like in other MacFun products, like in Aurora, for example, you can see the uh, what the presets are in each category across there. And if you decide you like one, you can also favorite it. Or if you click on it, it'll apply to your image immediately. And the uh, opacity slider is built in, so you can adjust that as you see fit. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that preset. And you may be thinking, well, yeah, but what's that preset made of? Because filters um, are comprised, or excuse me, presets are comprised of filters. So let's open this filters menu again. And there you go. You can see that the tone, saturation, vibrance, polarizing, and clarity are the filters that make up this preset. And so if you wanted to, you could come in here and say, hey, I'm going to bump that up a little bit, maybe smart tone, you know, maybe I'll make that a little darker, I'm going to drop the shadows, maybe I want a little more saturation, polarizing, maybe a little more, maybe a little more clarity. And you might think, all right, that looks better. Let's look at the before and after, right? So we've made some impact on the photo. We've altered the preset a little bit, just like another MacFun products. Hey, click here, create new preset, and you can save it as beach sunset if you want, and it'll show up in your user preset uh, category. I'm not going to do that, but you can also come in because it's a preset and you can say, I like it, but I want to do a little bit more. Well, you just click on add filter and look at that. Here's all your filters. They just pop out to the left and that's a list of all of them. You can also favorite filters and you can look at them by category and note that some of these filters show up in multiple categories. Um, also, if you need a description, click that arrow and you can just come through and you can see a description of each filter as you go through it, right? With a sample image. It is not your image, as you can tell quite obviously, but it's a sample to give you an idea of what kind of effect that filter will have on your image. So with this photo, I think I would go in and add Orton effect, which if you're familiar with the Orton effect, it's been around for a long time. Super cool, very dreamy sort of effect it has on a photo. I'm going to do a little bit of that Orton right now. And there's two types. There's type 1 and type 2. I like type 1 better. It's maybe a little too saturated, a little too contrasty. But nonetheless, it kind of creates a dreamy sort of atmosphere. Let me show you. Uh, by the way, you can also turn that off. Uh, just, just that particular filter. And turn it back on just to do a compare. And once again, before and after. And by the way, now you can look at the history and see everything that you've done to the photo. 
just to see uh, what all's happened and bounce back to something if you need to sort of step back in time. So that is filters. Let me clear all of that. I'm just gonna say clear and we're gonna go back to the base image. The other thing that you hear about with Luminar is workspaces and workspaces are available up here. This is a landscape, so I would choose a landscape workspace. But basically, land, uh, excuse me, uh, workspaces are just a collection of filters that would be commonly used with whatever genre of photography you may be in. So in a landscape, click on that, it's gonna auto-populate filters that it would assume are gonna be commonly used in landscape photos. Now again, you can alter this and you can create and you know save and share your own workspaces. But using the uh, filters that are built into the landscape workspace, I might come in here and actually maybe I'll go like this, make some changes to this photo just to give it a little bit different look. And you'll notice most of these are common things. Foliage enhancer, this is a beach, there's no foliage. I'm just gonna delete that. And by the way, when I did that, this changed from landscape to custom because I basically changed the filters that are in the workspace. Clarity, I might use a little of. I don't want any structure. I don't want any image radiance. Maybe I want a little bit of bottom lighting and maybe I don't want a vignette. And you know what, maybe I really like that Orton filter, so maybe I just go in and add filter and I'm gonna get Orton effect again and put it into this, uh, this basically custom workspace that I'm building. And I'm gonna go drag the, uh, the Orton slider a little bit to the right, create a little bit more dreamy effect, and there you go. Again, before and after. And if you wanted to look at the history panel to see what all you've done, here's everything that we've been doing to the photo. So again, you can snap back in time. And if you say, hey, I love this workspace, this is gonna work great. Maybe you took a lot of photos this night on the beach with this wonderful sunset, and you wanna use the same uh, workspace every time, you just create a custom workspace. All right, I've already got one beach sunset, so we'll call this you know, beach uh, you know, happy hour. How about that? It was a very happy hour. When the light's like this, you're very happy, right? So you can save new workspace. And then anytime you bring in photos from that, you can just click in here and say, there's my beach happy hour, right? You also have a workspaces folder that you can go and show it. And guess what? I've got beach happy hour and beach sunset. So I could share those if I wanted to. But remember, a workspace is not a preset. So if I click beach sunset, it's gonna choose the filters that are built into that. Or if I, the one I just made beach happy hour, Again, it zeroes out, it is not a preset. The sliders are not moved, everything's at zero. The workspace is just a collection of filters. So I think of it as a shortcut for filter selection to get you quickly the filters that you wanna use for that particular type of photo. Um, outside of that, you've got all these other tools that we talked about, and I'm gonna do more videos. You're gonna see a lot of stuff about Luminar. It's a great product, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm using it on single exposures, but I'm also using it on HDRs. It's got an incredible amount of flexibility. I know you're gonna love it as much as I do. I just wanted to share a quick preview. Hopefully this was quick, uh, but let me know if you have any questions. Click um, the link in my blog to read about it. Pre-orders start today. It's an exciting product, and if you're a customer already, as I said, it's $49. It's a great deal, and they're gonna keep building on this product and adding more and more functionality. I think in many ways this product is uh, along with Aurora, pretty much the future of Mac Fun in terms of their software products. I think it's great. And uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again. See you next time, people. Adios.